Howdy do! How are ya? Hello! Hey, I have got a special one here. This is from Jailhouse Brewery. It's a misdemeanor ale. Jailhouse out of Hampton, Georgia. This one was sent to me uh, from John Brugu, who lives out that way. And I have never had anything from this brewery before. So, let me pour this. I'm using this glass here that I got from Stuart last year when he came to town. A salt hair mug. Let me pour some there. Like I said, I haven't had anything from this. It's a nice color. Before I just, uh, I when I first saw the bottle, I just made the assumption it was a pale, but it is not. Oh, wow. Well. So let me read a little bit from their website now that I got her poured. A misdemeanor ale. Misdemeanor is built on robust flavors but practiced with restraint. It is a medium-bodied amber ale with balanced caramel sweetness and a heft of biscuit overtones. Yeah, you're not kidding. That's what I noticed the first in that aroma. Uh, balanced with a combination of earthly hop varieties from the Willamette Valley. Uh, malt, domestic two row, crystal, and biscuit. Biscuit! Uh, and hops are Liberty and Willamette. Uh, ABV is five and a half. IBUs are 23. Okay, that's pretty standard for an amber. So let's see, uh, very, uh, very biscuity malt going on. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, very interesting. <laughs> um, huh. Wow. Uh, that's that's good. Uh, this is a good. Uh, the amber in general is one of those kind of American craft creations uh, that really has no no rules. I mean, uh, typically they're like this when they're more malty than hoppy, but I there there are some hoppier versions out there that they tend to be like this one. However. Um, between five and six percent uh although there are some larger but this one is kind of where where that range is it's hmm. y'all ever eat malt <laughs> you know you ever get to jars of malt to make malt at home you know yeah when i was a kid we used to stick our finger into malt and eat it right out of the thing you know well that's kind of the, that's the flavor that i'm getting from this it's like like eating that pure malt Uh, yeah, this is this thing. I don't know what this thing costs because um, I like to talk a lot about value. 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 I like to talk a lot about value, so I don't know what this costs. But as a beer, uh, it, it's it's darn fine. Um, it is. It does what you want amber to do. It's got a little more malt than in a typical, you know, light lager. But it's uh, the body is light. Uh, this is medium bodied. I don't know if I'd call it medium bodied. I'd say light to medium. It is certainly light enough to be refreshing in, you know, the 85 muggy as hell day that I've got out there. Oh, it's very good, though. I need to thank uh, Mr. Uh, John Brugru for sending this to me. I haven't used this glass in a while, so I wanted to use this glass. I love this big pint glass. It's an actual pint. Oh. Ooh, it's a warm one out there, and, and this is what you know. It's kind of what what beers like this are for. Um, not super hoppy enough there to, to you know to to give you some taste, but it's not gonna. Uh, but uh, this beer does what it's supposed to. It's 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 light. It's refreshing. It's got some backbone. So hey, I'm gonna not run too long today because I want to do a second one. Jail house burn. Misdemeanor Ale. Give it a shot. Hold on. Wait a minute. 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 Let me show you the beer one more time. Oh. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm out of beer. I'm going to go by.